is a two-year-old colt. He's mine. He's my baby. Uh, his name is my Akahachi Poco. And uh, what I wanted to do is to show you the contrast between a horse like Wendy that's had some abuse problems and how long it takes to get her or him situated to understand that we're not all about pain and hurt and everything else. Now if you can see him over there, he's playing around with my bareback pad and just having, having a good old time with it and playing with it. And that's what I want him to do because I want him to be comfortable with it. If a horse puts their nose on something like that and they play with it, then they're less likely to be afraid of it. So um, I've been putting the bareback pad on him for a little bit and the main thing that I really want to kind of emphasize today with him, and I'm going to show you some of the games that I play with him too, is how I go about cinching. So Angie, out there in Illinois, if you watch this video, this is dedicated to you, so to speak. So that I think you still have your colt, and uh, if you don't, well, at least the next one that comes up, you'll have a pretty good idea of different things you can do with them. Now, I want to do, I do want to caution you about one thing, and I want people to get upset, but I may have to discipline him from time to time. He's not been gelded; he's a colt, so he's he's got his equipment, and he, his the main problem that I have with him is him nipping. Now it's not that he wants to hurt or anything like that, that's just what he does and I have to stay on top of it. So you'll probably hear me say no bite, no bite, because I want to pre-warn him. Now if I have to get on to him, there's two things that I'm going to do to discipline him. And this is where I don't want anybody to get upset, because you can't just let him bite you and not do anything about it. But the discipline that I'm going to do is structural. So there's going to be three things. One. If he nips me and I'm close enough by with my hand, I'm going to flick him just like this, right on his mouth. And you'll see his head go up like that. Now that doesn't mean that he's going to be head shy. That just means I don't want you to bite me no more because I can still get my hands on his face and I can still rub his nose. But him being a colt, two years old, might have some teeth going, going, you know, problems, gums, whatever. I rub those and massage those also but I still have to let him know not to bite. If I'm in a position that I can't flick him, then I will pop him on the neck one time. Or I will take the end of my rope and pop him on the butt one time. Now it may seem like it's harsh, but when you think about it, those are the two areas that the mare goes to discipline their baby. They will either bite their butt or they will bite their neck to let them know that what they've just done is not acceptable. So those type of disciplines are acceptable within the horse realm, okay? So I want everybody to kind of understand that. Now you can agree with it, you can disagree with it, but I'm not going to put a stud chain and rack his nose or just lay into him and get all kinds of upset. Because if I do, I might as well put him away and call it a day, all right? Okay. So again, here we go with my approach. I'm coming off to the side. So he knows that I'm here, even though right now he's kind of like having a good time with my bareback pad. <laughs> so he's playing with it, and that's okay. I want him to. And then if he bonks himself in the head, then he'll know he needs to quit playing. Okay, buddy boy, are you done? Okay, so I'm going to make my approach. And look at it this way. If he's got something in his mouth, he's less apt to bite me, right? Okay, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that away from him. He's got it all good and slobbery and goobery too here. So I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to place it in here, put a little pressure on. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to put it right here where the bit would go and put pressure on until he releases it. Now he's going to back up and that's okay, but I want him to, re to release it, okay? There we go. All right, so that was simple enough. Now, if it would have got to the point, now, see, he just got, he just tried to bite me right there. Now it's too late for me to react because I didn't react quick enough. So I have to let that one pass. But now, as far as my saddle pass, <laughs> pretty well chewed up. Now that's the end of that. So now, what I want him to do is get away from me. Get away. Go. Back. Get away. Okay. 
Now, <clears throat> what I just did there was to let him know that that's not acceptable. I don't want you on top of me. I don't want you trying to nip at me. I want you to be a gentleman. You have to stay in touch with these guys all the time. You can't let them get away with anything, not even once. So it's very important. Let them know what you're all about. Let them know that you will discipline them, that you will get on to them if they are not doing what you, uh, what's acceptable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just walk them around. See, I didn't ask them to come in, so I'm going to bring them back. Get away from me. Go on. Get away. Okay, that's where I want them. Looking and chewing. All right, now, that's kind of like a little more introvert. He did a little licking and chewing, kept his tongue inside. But a lot of times he's very animated and he will lick and chew and you can see his tongue coming out. Now I'm going to walk him around half circle here for a little bit and then I'm going to put the pad on and I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. Now, if you remember, this is how I was walking Wendy. Bump, bump, bump. I knew he was going to go after that pad. I just told him no. So I bumped him. Okay, didn't jerk on him or anything. I bumped him. Big difference between bumping and jerking. Okay, so, so far he's doing pretty good. Kind of behaving himself. But that's subject to change. Okay, he stopped. I'm going to keep the pressure on him until he decides to walk on. He had that blue brass hook there in his mouth. Decided that was a little uncomfortable, so he took it off. All right, took it out. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the pad on. Bump, bump. See that? He wanted to go to that pad again, and then I said no. So I bumped him. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that my pad is nice and clean. That it doesn't have anything in there that'll stick them. And he's going to inspect it for me, make sure that it's okay. Is it okay? Huh? Did I do a good job? Did I? Huh? Okay, buddy. Okay, now, place it on his back, like so. Now we'll go get my other pad. This is probably about the fourth or fifth time that I've had the pad on. I've had the saddle on them once, but it doesn't matter if it's the, whether it's a pad or a saddle. It's all about the cinching to get them used to the center. No bite? Okay, there was a pre-warning right there. He brought his head around. He wanted to take a little nip. And you see how I wear baggy pants? More than likely, he's going to grab a hold of my pants before he grabs any of my skin. If you wear tight jeans, guess what? He's going to get a hold of your skin. All right, he's playing with the rope, so he's preoccupied. Notice how I'm walking behind him? Okay, just like any of the other horses that I work with, he's not any different. Other than the fact that he's a baby. Okay, I'm going to push his head away a little bit, just like that. So he doesn't get tempted to take advantage of a situation. With young horses, no. Now see, he's trying to bite at the cinch, or at the girth, rather. Now, let me bring him around this way so you can see it a little bit better. 